fellow water signs, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts. This reading is going to be focusing on will your ex return? All right, guys, so we're going to be looking into their headspace, what they're thinking. We're going to be analyzing their heart space, what they are feeling, as well as what they want and need to say to you at this time, um, as well as any additional final thoughts I can grab for you guys towards the end of this reading. It's general as always. It will not resonate with every single one of you. So please take what does and leave the rest behind. And hopefully I will be able to tap into your energies at a future reading. Anyone interested in a personal private reading at this time, please access that information down below this video. All right, water signs. So for my Cancers, Scorpios, and Pisces, will your ex return? Starting off with their headspace and what they're thinking. And um, I'm going to be starting off using the Mystic Moon Oracles. This is a wonderful deck created by Angela from Mystic Moon. If you guys um, have heard of her channel, absolutely look her up. She's a wonderful reader here on YouTube. All right, so let's get started, guys. Let's take a look into this whole situation regarding your ex. And for some of you guys, this could be pertaining to someone that you are simply in separation from and you have some pretty intense feelings for them. So... This could absolutely pick up off of those energies as well. But for the majority, it's um, an ex-relationship that you are in separation from. So Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces, what is in your ex's headspace? What are they thinking about you and about this whole situation, about the distance and separation between you guys at this time? There's no particular time frame, however, for this reading. It's whenever you're guided to click on it and view this reading. All right, guys? Okay. Water signs. Your ex's headspace and what they are thinking. What is the ex thinking? Okay, starting already. Divine timing. Okay, so they are acknowledging that um, it's going to take some time to either fix or rectify this whole situation. And should you guys get back together, that it's it's going to happen if and when it's meant to. Okay, received. So perhaps you've sent them a message, a text, or a phone call, or an email, some sort of communication to let them know um, exactly where you're coming from. So they got the message, guys, okay? They know exactly where you stand in regard to this whole separation and distance between the two of you. What else is the X for my water signs thinking? What is in their headspace, please? What is in the X's headspace? What are they thinking at this time? Regarding my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio and Sp Pisces. What is the ex thinking? What is the ex thinking? What are they thinking? That they're devoted to you, okay? That they are missing you, that ultimately they're feeling it in their heart that they want you back, okay? They're, that you're heavily in their thoughts, okay? They're devoted to you. And that's, that's a pretty heavy word to use, especially when you are in separation from someone that you had a relationship with, being in devotion to that person, okay? It's almost like they're holding vigil for your return. That's the energy I'm picking up here from your ex. What else is the ex? Whoa. Okay, totally flew out. Hold on. Hold on. Let me grab it. I have the squeakiest chair in town. I am so sorry. <laughs> yeah, abandoned, guys. So they they either know that they abandoned you in this relationship that you guys shared and or this is how they're feeling at this time. They are feeling abandoned. And um, it's interesting how the bottom card is surrender. So they are surrendering to how they feel about you, okay? They know ultimately that they messed up and that you are their safe space. That That's, sorry, my chair is so squeaky, sorry. That ultimately 
they just know deep down in their heart that there's no one else for them. Okay, that's what I'm feeling through this card. They are completely surrendering to how they feel about you. They know that they either abandon you or this is how, again, they they are feeling as a result of the, the absence um, that they are feeling from your not being in their life right now. Okay, so let's pull some romance angels messages and see what they're thinking. So angels and spirit guides for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces related to their ex. What is their ex thinking at this time? What is in their headspace for my water signs? What is in the ex's headspace for Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces? What is in their headspace? What is this ex thinking at this time? What is in their headspace, guys? Let's take a look. But yeah, they feel your absence, okay? They miss you. They're devoted to you. They wanna to talk to you, they wanna reach out, they want to open lines of communication, but they ultimately do know that that's not gonna happen until you're ready, okay? They know that divine timing is at hand in regard to this whole situation. It cannot be rushed. They know that you are also going through this journey of healing in regard to the separation and distance between the two of you. Okay, they need to give you time. What else is the ex thinking for my water signs, please, angels? What is their ex thinking? What is in their headspace for my water signs? What is in their headspace? Whoa, too many, okay. They want you to give them another chance. Okay, give your relationship a chance, work on your partnership. They absolutely want a second chance with you, guys. All right, but again, divine timing needs to come into play here. Okay, um, they have a in pretty intense love for you through this devotion card. And so they've kind of given up on even fighting how they feel about you. They've just surrendered to the fact that they love you and that they know they messed up. So they want to talk to you again to, again, open lines of communication here because they want you to know that they want to fight for this connection. They want to fight for you guys to get back together. They want to come back to you. What else is the ex thinking? For my water signs, please, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. What is their ex thinking? What is their ex thinking at this time? Very soon, guys. Okay, so they they may very well make the decision to, to act sooner rather than later. They need to make a decision. And once they make that decision, especially in regard to this relationship, the separation between the two of you, they're gonna come in fast, okay? So whether this is something that you're looking for or not, this is acknowledging the fact that they are ready to make a decision in regard to possibly reaching out to you so that you guys could talk things through. What else is the ex thinking? What is in their headspace for my water signs? They want you to stay optimistic about this whole situation. They want you to have faith and um, just think positive that things can absolutely be worked out, okay? This is the bottom card here, guys, honeymoon. Ultimately, I really do feel that they see a future with you still, regardless of the, the separation between the two of you. They, they want a long-term future with you. This could certainly be indicative of a marriage proposal, okay? They see themselves marrying you someday if this is something that you would accept into your life. So ultimately, for my water signs, it, it falls on your lap to make the decision um, when this offer comes into play, whether or not you want to accept it, okay? But based off of the cards that are coming through here, your ex really wants to work this out. They want to reapproach this whole situation and talk to you. And I'm feeling that they may very well reach out to you, possibly within the next couple weeks, I'm feeling, okay? Either a couple weeks to a month, but I, I do feel based off of the energies I'm feeling here, they wanna reach out to you fairly soon, okay? So now, if they could, if they could express what they're thinking at this time, what would they say to you, okay? What does the X need to say to my water signs? What are they thinking? What are they thinking right now? 
What are my water signs exes thinking at this time? What is in their headspace? What do they need to say? What do they want or need to say to my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces? What do they need to express? What are they thinking? What are they thinking? Okay. What are they thinking? If I knew then what I know now, I would have made different choices. Yeah. They're coming forward with a level of regret here because I feel that they have grown from this experience. Again, they are coming forward with devotion. They are feeling abandoned. They are acknowledging the fact that they may have also made you feel this way and they are surrendering to their feelings, okay? So they've grown from this experience. Maybe we're just too different, okay? So they're acknowledging that as well. Perhaps there were times that you guys just didn't see eye to eye when you guys were together. And, um, you know, perhaps you guys are from different ethnicities. Perhaps there is an age gap here and you guys just don't see eye to eye occasionally. Um, whatever it is for the reason that they're feeling you guys are just too different, ultimately I still feel a pretty strong pull here that they they want to reach out to you to reconnect and open up the conversation here to possibly work things out. Yeah, I've looked you up online to see what you've been up to, okay? So they're checking you out on your social media, on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever accounts you have on social media. They, they miss you, they, they wanna see your face, they just wanna know what's going on with you. Um, if, you know, they could pick up off of anything that's related to them possibly on social media, they're looking into that, okay? So um, that's, that's going on here. And I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. So whatever went wrong in the situation, whatever caused the breakup between the two of you, okay, they, they know that they messed up, guys. If they could, if they could speak these words, they, they would be apologizing for the role that they played in that breakup. They know that they did you wrong. They know it. And look at this, guys. I can still feel you. So really picking up off of this devotion card here. Okay, they're, they're quite devoted to you. You're still very much a part of their heart and they still feel your presence in their heart, in their mind, in their soul. Even though you're physically not with them, okay? You guys, ultimately they're feeling you guys are spiritually connected. So they, they really still feel you. Okay, so that's what they would wanna say to you if they were in your presence. So that's what is in their headspace, guys, at this time. So now we're gonna take a look at what is in their heart space. How are they truly feeling about the separation and distance between the two of you? All right, so. How is the ex feeling about the situation, the separation, this distance with their ex, with my water signs? Guys, they want to come back. They want to return to you, okay? That's as plain as it can get. They, they want to return. What else is the ex feeling? What else is the ex feeling for my water signs? Balancing the scales, okay? They know that they've got work to do in order to restore balance in this connection, all right? Um, for whatever role they played in the breakup, they know that it was a little bit lopsided in how um, things ended up working out. So they, before they approach you to come back into your life, they definitely want harmony and balance back into their, their life before they can even do that. How is the ex feeling? What is in their heart space for the water signs? Okay. They want forgiveness, guys. They want you to forgive them, okay, for what ended up happening between the two of you. 
Okay, they, they're, they're acknowledging the pause, the, um, the fact that you guys are not together right now and, and time needs to happen, divine timing needs to happen before any action, any real action can take place here. And here we go with the action. Okay, so pause followed by action. So eventually they are going to take that first step to reach out to you when they're ready and when they realize and know ultimately picking up off of your energies um, when you're ready to accept any sort of communication. So right now they are just heavily in contemplation, thinking about how they're gonna do this, what do they need to do in order to come forward to you to bring about this reconciliation because ultimately they wanna come back to you guys. They want to come back, okay? So let's pull some romance angels messages for that so angels and spirit guides what is the ex feeling what is in their heart space for my water signs what is in their heart space for my water signs please what are they feeling how are they feeling how is the ex feeling For my water signs. All right, guys. How are they feeling? What is in their heart space? How is the ex feeling? What is in their heart? Okay, they are feeling the separation between the two of you guys. Um, I'm really feeling that their heart is broken over this. Okay, they are acknowledging the time apart away from you. Okay, so let's pull some more. But I, I'm picking up here. They really want your forgiveness here, guys. What else is the ex feeling? What is in their heart space for my water signs? How does their ex feel? What is in their heart? Love yourself first. Okay, so they are acknowledging the fact that they really didn't love themselves when they were with you, that they were just not in a good place emotionally and um, mentally in order to be a better person in that connection to be the type of person that you were deserving of and i'm feeling that initially when you guys had met this person really demonstrated and expressed their love openly and i feel as time went on that kind of fell to the wayside and they weren't as affectionate so i'm picking up their energies here that they are um, feeling that initially they needed to do work on themselves and that is ultimately part of balancing the scales here and going into contemplation contemplation mode to figure out what do they need to do in order to improve themselves before they come back towards you or take that first step to um, start this energy of wanting this uh, process of returning back into your life to get going okay what else is the X feeling for my water signs. What is in their heart? How are they feeling in relation to the separation and distance from their water sign counterpart? What else is in their heart? What are they feeling for the person that they are in separation from? What is the X feeling? What is in their heart for my water signs? Angels, please bring it forward. They want to talk to you guys. They want to open up the lines of communication, okay? They want nothing more than to openly discuss their feelings about you, about the whole situation, about what went down, okay? Ultimately, yes, they want your forgiveness, okay? What else? Yeah, pay attention to the red flags. So, of course, you need to assess what it is they are saying to you during these heart-to-heart -heart conversations, you need to make sure that they don't fall back into their old patterns of why the separation occurred to begin with, all right? So if you feel that there are still unresolved elements of the situation or the conversation, then you need to um, speak up and voice your concerns over that because um, it, it doesn't make sense to go back to a relationship where you're still feeling that things aren't right between the two of you, okay? So regardless of the fact that they want your forgiveness, regardless of the fact that they are acknowledging wanting to come back to you and ultimately that they love you 
um, and take action towards you to come back to you, they, they still need to think about, you know, their role in all this and how it all played out. So pay attention to how the conversation unfolds. Not to say that this is any sort of tiebreaker, you just need to be aware of the direction that the conversation is going should you guys choose to reconnect because you definitely don't wanna leave anything unresolved. Okay guys, at the end of the day, the bottom card is engagement. So for some of you guys, you are going to work things out. You're gonna talk through whatever issues you guys had endured in this uh, separation from your ex. Some of you guys are actually going to get married and work through things. I do see a marriage in your future for some of you guys. Um, so yeah, it's just a matter of having a healthy reconnection, guys, and making sure that you're in a more solid foundation moving forward with this person. So will they return? I would say yes, okay? So now if they could express what is in their heart space at this time and what they're feeling. What would they want to say to you? All right. So for my water signs, what is your ex feeling? What do they need to say to you in regards to how they're feeling right now? What do they need to say to you? For my Cancer, Scorpios, and Pisces, what does your ex want to say to you in regards to how they're feeling? what's in their heart space in regards to this whole situation. Oh, my mind and heart always comes back to you. Okay? So, yeah. They love you. They know that they really messed up, which is why they are wanting forgiveness. They are acknowledging the separation um, their life, I'm feeling, is empty without your presence, okay? So, yeah, they're acknowledging the fact that you guys belong together and they certainly want you back, is what I'm feeling here. My mind and heart always comes back to you. So even though, for some of you guys, um, where there was a third party that interjected their energies into this whole relationship and which contributed to the breakup, Ultimately, they came to the realization that they belong with you and that you are the right choice for them, okay? What else does the ex need to say in regards to how they're feeling? What else does the ex need to express and say? This keeps coming up. This is so weird. Maybe we're just too different, okay? so. They're, they're still freaked out about whatever differences you guys have between the two of you, but that's not really stopping them from wanting to come back into your life. I have a feeling that because they are in contemplation mode right now and that it's natural for them to have these negative thoughts kind of interject itself into their headspace. You know, this is negative thinking on their part. Maybe we're just too different, but at the end of the day, their mind and heart still ends up coming back to you no matter what, okay? So they're acknowledging the difference differences between the two of you. Again, it could potentially be um, ethnicity differences. Perhaps you guys are different religions or um, uh, different ages, like a different generation, whatever the case may be. Um, they're simply acknowledging your differences and perhaps it is those differences for some of you guys that caused the separation, okay? So I really do feel though this, that this is part of what they're thinking about by way of this contemplation and that they're not sure you would accept them for who they are, okay? What else do they need to tell you about what's in their heart? What else does the, the ex need to express to their water sign counterpart, their ex? What else is in their heart? What do they need to say? What do they need to say? Oh, please don't take what happened personally. It's not you, it's me. Okay? So I know that's difficult to do when you're in a relationship with someone to not t take something personally, but ultimately they're 
they're acknowledging the fact that they had some issues going on within themselves. And perhaps that's why this love yourself first card came through because there's elements about their personality and whatever it is that they are internalizing that they don't love about themselves. And so they interjected that dissatisfaction within themselves towards you in the relationship, okay? For some of you guys, perhaps you weren't even dealing with a third party situation and it was simply this person um, not being in the right headspace to be in that type of relationship. And they've now come to the realization that, you know, they actually were lucky enough to be in this relationship with someone they loved and cared for. And so now that you guys are apart and in separation, they are figuring out and coming to the realization that you were ultimately the right person for them, okay? So yeah, that's what I'm feeling here, okay? So that's what they would wanna say to you based off of what is in their heart at this time. All right, so ultimately guys, it's up to you to entertain this person wanting to come back into your life, but I, I do feel that ultimately they're really taking the time to think about where you guys have been, where they wanna go moving forward in the future. And I really do feel that they see this relationship with you escalating towards a more committed level. I really do feel that they're doing the work internally to improve their headspace and what is in their, in their head and their heart so that they can come forward as a better partner for you. Ultimately, this is their desire. They want to return. They want to come back into your life. They need forgiveness from you, okay? So that's what's coming through here. So let's close out your reading, guys, with some final thoughts from the Whispers of Love deck. So angels and spirit guides, please bring forward your messages for my water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. Some final thoughts. regarding the ex relationship. All right, guys, some final thoughts on your reading here. For my water signs, whoa, that was quick. All right, what do we have? Be supportive, make a genuine effort to show you care. Okay, so I'm feeling for my water signs, you are tuning into this reading because you still absolutely love and care for your ex. Um, there were certainly good elements of the relationship that you guys shared. And I do feel for the majority of you when this person um, re-emerges into your life wanting to reconnect with you because they are coming forward with, um, coming from a loving standpoint this time around, uh, your they're going to soften your heart and how you looked at the whole separation and distance between the two of you. So the angels are coming forward asking you to be supportive um, towards this reconnection because they're really taking the time to contemplate and think about how they can approach you and be um, the type of person that you would want to be with, okay? And it's interesting, guys. Look at the bottom card. Miracles and blessings. Everything has its gift. Wow. So, whoa. So I am just picked up the energies and messages here, guys, that this person, when they come back into your life, they really will be a blessing coming back to you because they, they've done the work on themselves to make sure that they are the ideal partner for you, someone that has the capability of loving you for the rest of your life. Okay, so even though at this time you're listening to this reading and you may be feeling as if, you know what, I can't even imagine how we can work this out. You know, I get that there's very painful endings, very painful breakups and se separations that have occurred here. Um, for some of you guys, I do feel that you're going to bridge the gap between the two of you and you're going to work things out your ex has a lot of work that they need to do on themselves and I feel that they're doing that. Okay, so take this time while you guys are in separation to um, kind of heal the parts of yourself that need healing as well. Because um, with this card coming forward, miracles and blessings are working in your favor in regard to this uh, relationship with your ex. 
So I do feel that ultimately the universe is going to step in and find a way to bring you guys back together and put you on a healthier um, connection with each other. All right, guys, that's what I'm getting for you this time around. So that's it, guys, for the reading of Will Your Ex Return? Ultimately, I do feel that yes, they will. Okay, so it is, again, up to you how you go about entertaining the conversation once you guys open up the lines of communication here. Ultimately, I do feel that if you give it the proper attention that it needs, you will come out on top in regard to this relationship. Again, you're being blessed by miracles in this connection. All right, so just have a little bit of faith that you guys can um, work through whatever issues you had going on. All right, Water Signs, so thank you guys so much for tuning in. Again, um, if you're interested in booking a personal private reading with me, all that information is down below this video. I would appreciate your likes, shares, and subscribes if this resonated with you, and I will be back with more readings soon. Thank you guys. See you soon. Bye-bye.